Thunkable Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Thunkable. Thunkable is an amazing platform that allows you to create mobile apps without any coding knowledge. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of using Thunkable from start to finish. We'll show you how to create your own app using Thunkable's intuitive interface and powerful features. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Thunkable, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look for the Start Today button and click on it. This will take you to the registration page. On the registration page, you'll find various options to sign up for a new account. You can choose to sign up with your Google account, Apple ID, or your email address. Select the option that suits your preferences and proceed with the sign-up process. After signing up for a new account, you'll have the opportunity to personalize your account. Follow the on-screen prompts to customize your account according to your needs. However, personalizing your account is optional and you can skip this step by clicking on the exit button. Once you've personalized your account or skipped the step, you'll be directed to your account dashboard. When you access the dashboard on Thunkable, you'll notice that it has a simple and user-friendly interface. At the top left-hand side of the dashboard, you'll find three important tabs, My Projects, Public Gallery, and My Data Sources. Under the My Projects tab, you have the option to start a new project by clicking on the Start Building option. Once you create a project, it will be displayed here. Additionally, you can also explore the featured projects showcased in this tab, which can provide inspiration and examples for your own projects. The Public Gallery tab contains project templates that have been created by professionals. These templates serve as starting points for your own projects and can be customized to suit your specific needs. You can browse through the available templates and choose the one that best aligns with your project goals. Under the My Data Sources tab, you'll find a list of your data sources. This section provides details about each data source, including its type, name, project count, sync with the source, and the ability to view the data. It is a convenient place to manage and organize your data sources for use within your projects. Now, let's see how to create a new app in Thunkable. To create a new app in Thunkable, you'll need to navigate to the My Projects tab on the dashboard. Click on this tab and you'll see the Start Building option. Click on Start Building to begin the process of creating a new app. A pop-up window will appear, prompting you to enter the name of your app in the Project Name field and choose the category of the app in the Category field. Once you've provided this information, click on the Create button to proceed. This will direct you to the Thunkable editor, where you can start building your app from scratch. If you prefer to use a template as a starting point for your app, Thunkable offers a convenient option. You can either select a template from the Public Gallery tab or choose one from the Featured Projects section within the My Projects tab. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's select a template from the Featured Projects section. Scroll down within the Featured Projects and locate the Tasks Tracker template. Click on this template and you'll be taken to another page where you can view the details of the selected template. On this page, you'll find an option labeled Copy Project, located at the top right corner of the screen. Click on Copy Project and you'll be directed to the editor where you can start customizing the template according to your own preferences. This allows you to leverage the existing structure and design of the template while making modifications to suit the specific requirements of your app. Once you access the Thunkable editor, you'll notice that the interface is divided into different sections to assist you in building your app efficiently. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll find a menu that offers various options such as Designer, Data, Assets, and Settings. These options provide you with the necessary tools to create and customize your app. Next to the left menu, there is a left sidebar that displays the screens of your app and the components that you can add to each screen. This sidebar serves as a convenient way to navigate between different screens and easily add components to your app's interface. In the center of the editor, you'll see a main canvas. This is the primary area where you can add components and content to build your app. It provides you with a visual representation of your app's interface, and you can drag and drop components onto the canvas, arrange them, and design the layout of your app. On the right-hand side of the editor, you'll find a right sidebar. This sidebar contains further customization settings and options. When you add a component or content to the central canvas area, the right sidebar will open, displaying specific options for that particular component or content. This allows you to customize and configure the properties and behavior of each component individually. 
Once you're in the Thunkable editor, you can easily customize the template according to your preferences using the various tools available in the left menu, left sidebar, and right sidebar. To begin customizing the template, start by selecting the screen you want to modify from the left sidebar. For example, let's choose the home screen. Once you've selected the screen, you can then choose any content elements such as text, image, or button that you want to customize. As you select the content, the right sidebar will open, providing you with the options to customize that specific element. Let's say you want to change the image on the landing page. By clicking on the image, the right sidebar will display customization options for that image. To replace the image with your own, click on the field next to picture and then select either upload files or type in URL, depending on the source of your picture. If you choose upload files, locate the image on your computer and upload it. You can also adjust the layout and style of the image as needed. After customizing the template's image, you can move on to customizing the headers and subheader text. Simply click on the header text and the right sidebar will provide you with options to change the text content. You can replace the header text with your own text and further customize it by changing the font and color, applying formatting such as bold, italic, or underline, and adjusting the layout of the header. Follow the same process to update the subheader text on the screen. Once you've customized the header and subheader, you can click on the button to modify it. Clicking on the button will open the right sidebar, allowing you to change the button's text, fonts, color, and other properties. Once you have finished customizing the template and your app is ready to be published, you can proceed to the publishing process. In the Thunkable editor, locate the Publish and Download option, which is situated at the top right side of the editor interface. Clicking on this option will open a menu with various publishing options. You will see options such as Download Android, Publish Web App, Publish iOS, and Publish Android. These options allow you to choose the preferred platform for publishing your app. If you want to publish your app for Android devices, you can select the Download Android option. This will enable you to download an Android installation file, APK, of your app, which can be installed and used on Android smartphones and tablets. For web-based deployment, you can choose the Publish Web App option. This option allows you to publish your app as a web application which can be accessed and used through web browsers on various devices. If you wish to publish your app specifically for iOS devices, select the Publish iOS option. Please note that publishing an app for iOS may require additional steps such as signing certificates and provisioning profiles as per Apple's guidelines. Finally, the Publish Android option provides an alternative method for publishing your app specifically for Android devices. This option may involve submitting your app to the Google Play Store or using other distribution channels for Android apps. By utilizing the publishing options in Thunkable, you can share your app with users on different platforms, making it accessible to a wider audience and bringing your creation to life. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Thunkable. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that, thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.